Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shevisu. Today, we are coming with a side-by-side -side comparison of a Papago dash cam, which I would not recommend, although there are very nice people in it, will suffice, and this best-selling Rexing dash cam right there. And we are going to basically go through my own humble opinion as to what I like about this Rexing dash cam, my top three, and also top three hints, tips, tricks that you should keep in mind when installing this thing. Now, first of all, as you can tell, my car is off and it just shut off right there that's because it has a 30 second delay shut off absolutely essential for a dash cam not a lot of dash cams have that the delay shut off is so magnificent because a lot of accidents can actually occur when you shut the car off or let's say someone says turn off your car uh, thinking that it will turn off the dash cam and the dash cam t continues to record granted it only records for up to 30 seconds which is not the longest but at least it does have a uh, delay um, off so to speak so that's one thing that I absolutely love about it the other thing is it's very low profile you'll notice that it there's not actually a, um, a little suction cup like my Papago right there and so it really tucks all the way up behind my rear view mirror. So this is my angle as if I am driving and I'm looking straight ahead. And if I turn this way, it really doesn't block a lot as opposed to something that would take up a lot more real estate. Um, so highly recommended that you get something with a bit of adhesive like that. Downside to that is, well, once you stick it on there, it's stuck on there and you're going to have to get some acetone to get it off. But I don't know how often you're taking your dash cam on and off, which by the way, yes, you can actually take it off, but the little thing stays on there. This is a little hint or trick that I have for you. And that is when you put this adhesive on, first put the plate on but don't lock it on all the way just gently rest it on there and then take this and put it where you want it to go let's say right there and gently press it and then take it away leaving the plate with the adhesive stuck up against the glass and then press it basically what i'm saying is don't lock it in all the way and then immediately push it on there. Give it a little bit of time to situate itself on there with no weight on there, if that makes sense. Another little hint or tip or trick that I have is definitely pick up a micro SD card. You'll see this little port right there. Um, yeah, I just have a 16 gig micro SD card, which suffices very, very nicely. Uh, it doesn't matter really what speed you get, as long as I'd say 16 gigs suffices very nicely. Whenever I get in a car accident or I witness something, I immediately go home and take it out anyway. So uh, if you're going to be on a road trip longer than five hours, maybe get some, something upwards of 32 gigs. But 16 gigs will suffice absolutely perfectly. And so there's a little knob here and a little knob over there. And that rotates this lens up and down so that you can actually adjust and make sure that it, um, well, is pointing not too far up and not too far down depending on the height of your vehicle this side right there you can barely see it has a, a little gps port which i don't need that i don't have an external gps function but it did automatically set the time which was very convenient it took me about 30 seconds to install it granted i have not actually threaded this all the way down um, i'm just going to tuck it in over there as i did with the other Papago dash cam, as you can see, it's completely hidden around there. And that's what I'm gonna do. This Rexine is gonna swap out that Papago. And then it goes all the way down into here. And this is what the cigarette lighter thing looks like when I yank it out. It is remarkably long. I don't know why they made it so long, but it does have a little tiny handy blue light right there. And lastly, the um, a little benefit that I absolutely love about this guy is I turned off the chime. And there are some dash cams, including some uh, models of Papago, that whenever you turn on the car, it uh, it chimes and it drives me absolutely crazy. This is quiet. You pretty much just set it up and forget about it. I would recommend formatting the card every month or so so that uh, just in case there is something kind of weird going on, some sort of recording error, but I've never ever had a recording error. It works absolutely awesome uh, and it also even records audio and places a stamp, time stamp on there as well. Uh, I don't bother putting the license plate timestamp on there because it's pretty obvious what car I am driving. Um, so yeah, I just have the date and timestamp. So.